there good morning good afternoon and good evening to you from wherever you are watching from welcome back to my youtube channel extensivo all right so the long awaited video is here vmix versus obs which is actually better okay this is kind of hard okay let's go straight on so without wasting much time don't forget my name joseph olaskomi and this is extensivo Okay, so straight into it, Vmix, OBS, OBS, Vmix, which is actually better. You know, as a video editor, Vmix is like my Premiere Pro in a way. You know, I've using Premiere Pro because I'm also a video editor, I edit my videos. I've using Premiere Pro for over five years now, more than that, because actually, that's where I've been a long time ago when I was editing movies and the rest like that. Okay, so Vmix is like something I use also. I'm using Vmix for over four to five years now also, but OBS though i don't have much experience in it so i've used it for like a year i guess yes i don't have really much experience in it but at the same time trust me i know what i'm saying when i'm giving these categories in it because i've used obs very well and vmix very well all right so you know we're going to the obvious first vmix is actually a paid software we all know that but at first it has a free version of 90 days free on watermark trial yes it has a free version which i can use vmix you can see all the features but um after the 90 days you have to pay and the minimum for payment is actually 60 dollars for minimum and it unlocks some features it's limited you can only use like two or four inputs then some things are actually limited you can't do a lot of things you can only stream some particular quality and the rest but for professional use for the maximum use the highest amount there is a 1200 dollars that's 1200 dollars which is very good for tv shows for live events for sports lot of these interviews is very good actually like for professional use you know it's good and it comes with all features like ndi vmix social desktop capture a lot of features that it comes with it automatically once you just download your vmix i have them on my system i don't know if i can just quickly show you a glance of it this is vmix look at it here vmix vmix desktop capture vmix diagnostic gt tattoo designer a lot of things this is not everything yes because I've not really installed the rest of them. But the plan for the futures of Vmix, it actually varies on the license, which license you get, if it is a $60 package or if it's a $1,200 package of it. So yes, you can see the price list here on the screen. I'm going to show you the price list. This is actually the price list of it. This is the futures that unlocks with some price list if you do and if you don't. Okay. But OBS on the other hand is actually free, really free to use. Actually, it's actually free. That is something that it has a high advantage more than Vmix. It's free, but um, it doesn't call it all features though. It doesn't call it all features like NDI, plugin, um, you know, stuff like that. So you have to download the features as a plugin, like your NDI, you download the features as a plugin. This also plugin that you download to stream to more than once, um, one social media and stuff like that. The plugin were created by the programmers, by other programmers, right, that all love the software and they did it for other people to use for free. You know, the interface of OBS doesn't really look easy. If you can see the interface over here now, uh, I have some things over here. But that of OBS doesn't really look easy. It has like more of a loose wires, which if you can actually know which wire to put in, which wire is actually good. You know, you can just, how do I put it? You can do it on vmix what you can do on obs but it's more stressful on vmix to do so vmix on the other hand is actually just direct let me open my vmix just direct to the point if you want to add input it's self-explanatory add input from my own points obviously add input videos dvds lists tv screen blah 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 um stream you want to stream just go to the settings there and click your stream key anyone here do it you want to do your um other settings go to your settings here then you go to your audio if you want to record your audio, this is it to your audio mixer. Anything you want to do actually is here. Switch to the points. Switch to the points. Okay. So what's not about Vmix also is that it's done by the programmers. Those that did the Vmix actually did the other list of stuff and they brought it out with the packages like that. That's why it comes with the package depending on the license you use. But OBS, other programmer does it and they put it for everyone to download. Like the program, the NDI, OBS NDI, NDI runtime different packages different plugins come with it people does it people um do it rather people do it people you know do a particular feature like okay i like this feature let me do it for people to also use that's how it is okay so secondly the thing about obs and vmix is that obs works on windows works on mac work on linux you know some plugin doesn't really go well on mac 
I'm not sure about Linux. I've not actually seen a Linux computer before. Yes. But um, I'm not sure about Linux though. It might work. It might not work. If you're using Linux, please let me know in the comment section. Okay, so plugin doesn't really go well on Mac, but Windows so far, yes, it actually goes well. But um, my VMix only works, not for my VMix, VMix rather, sorry. VMix works only on Windows. VMix, VMix does not have Mac um, software or a Linux software. So it's only Windows. That's one down thing about the mix. All right. So, um, you know about SRT, we're going to do step three now, the number three. SRT, that is Secure Reliable Transport, SRT. It's a new protocol to live stream, you know, VMI and OBS supports it do, obviously. But unfortunately, YouTube and Twitch and others don't accept it. I don't know if YouTube accepts it now, but I don't think YouTube accepted it the other time when I was researching. YouTube does not accept it. They still use the RTMP, which is the real-time messaging protocol. And that is why we have issues like latency and all like that. If you notice, streaming to Facebook is more easier than streaming to YouTube. Facebook has the SRT, which is the secure, reliable transport. So it's a lot smoother to stream to Facebook than to YouTube because, you know, YouTube does not really have SRT, but they use RTMP. So I guess when we know when they bring in the SRT to YouTube, we'll know which has issues. That is it. But for now, both of them have a good check. Okay, so one more thing I want to test in VMix and OBS is to see if they both support drag and drop. All right, so this is my VMix here. We're going to go straight to my video. I have pretty much some videos, which are actually I like 1.4 gig. Okay, I think this is 744 MB. I can I can use a little one. I'm looking for a little space. Okay, this one now. 744 MB. Let's see if it's support drag and drop. Yes, it's working in VMix. We get to OBS also and we drag and drop and we can see it over here. Okay, yeah. So both of that support drag and drop in VMix. That's something that is actually good. All right. So one more thing I'm going to check is um if the scroll bar, where we can forward the video and the rest, if the scroll bar is actually okay, if both of them have a scroll bar. Okay, so let's go to VMix. This is VMix over here. Let me just mute it actually because i don't want it to be loud so i'm just gonna off my audio no offense but okay so if this is working now this is it over here we have this in seven minutes and the rest like that we can easily just um go back here and it is it over there go back here you know so that everyone will know it so if i'm putting in something let's say um let me just play a picture so for now, if I'm playing, oh, I closed it. Okay, my bad. Let me just play something else. Yes. So if I'm playing this and I also just forward it a little bit to 10 minutes, then it will start playing. Yes, actually, actually good. Okay. So let's go to OBS and see if the actual scroll bar is okay also. This is OBS. So um, let's say if I am also playing in a picture. Let's say I'm playing a picture. All right. As this. This is my camera, everything working. Then I want to check my video. I think I can also decide to play from um, 10 minutes, then play from it. Yes, it's okay. But I have to go back to number three before. And so I start from the beginning. It starts from the beginning. I said play from nine minutes. Yes. So if I'm fading this and I said, okay, I want to, sorry about that. I want to play from yeah number 10 10 minutes this is 10 minutes 55 seconds right so i want to play from 10 minutes five seconds if i fade it in it's going to start from the top from the top so like it's going to start on the top which is actually not okay because i want to start from 10 minutes not from the top so okay let me bring it back again let me play something and put in my picture again if i want to start from 10 minutes after we start from the middle play nope it didn't start from the middle maybe because it's not in same scene i don't know but this is actually not okay it's not actually okay i, I don't really like this scrub over here okay so that is a no for vmix oh, sorry that's a no for obs vmix is a win the one thing you have test is scrubber and uh the scrubber in obs is just actually no it's just a no it's just enough for me it's just enough for me but vmix yes actually the scrubber and vmix is really okay it's really okay. So one more thing I want to check is um, your live streaming. While you are streaming to Facebook using VMix, for instance, you can bring in your comments section from your feed, from Instagram, from Facebook, 
Alphagraphy using Vimix Social. Actually, look at it over here. I'm going to show you. I think I have Vimix Social. Yes. So your Vimix Social over here, you can bring in. Look at it over here from your Twitter, from your Facebook, from your Twitch, from your YouTube, and from your IRC. You can bring in your Vimix um comments. You can bring in your comments. Then it's going to come into Vimix over here. Then you can see your comment live feed instantly. But in OBS, I actually haven't seen anything like that except they are yet to do it. Maybe one programmer one day will do a plugin like that and we can uh, download it. Or except that I brought it and I actually don't know. But Vimix, that's why I say Vimix, it comes with all packages. You can see it is in there. But OBS, you have to check is it actually available? This and that, this and that. Is it actually available? Okay, that is it. So Vimix, you can bring in your comments feed from your Twitter. If you are doing a program right now. I want you to you want to reply to people that are on your comment section in your live. You can just bring it there and you see everything there is PC. You can bring it on the screen itself so they will see themselves like a ticker in your own. Just like a ticker. So this they will see themselves that oh yeah, this is my comment, this is my comment with the username there and everything like that. So that's the win for Vimix and for OBS again. Okay. So um something about Vimix and OBS again is that Vimix can stream to up to 30 social media and those at a time okay let me see if i can show you over here in your stream options here this is it over here in one you can stream to facebook or any other yeah in your two you can stream to something else let's say stream spot and your three you can stream to any other thing let's say darkest all right so you can stream you can even log in inside and obs also can log in sign up register it in your obs and in your software excuse me but obs you can only stream to one I heard they brought out a, um, I heard there's also a plugin that can make a stream to more than one actually, but I have not actually tested that plugin personally. But someone told me he has that, um, someone told me someone, like a friend of a friend, has the plugin. So, yes, you can also do it in, plug in, in OBS for now. You can also do it in Vimix, but Vimix, since both of them have it, I'll say it's a win win. Vimix can stream to more than one up to three social media at a time. OBS also can stream to more than theory if you download the right plugin or if you use an external sites for it. Okay, so I think you have to know by yourself in OBS and in Vimix, yes? Okay, so um, something about OBS again, this another thing I want to do. What about OBS and Vimix again is that Vimix you can, you know, you can use instant replay. You can use instant replay, a feature called instant replay. Um, just like, I don't know if you watch football or any sport like wrestling and the rest i'm a wrestling fan a huge fan whenever i'm watching wrestling and maybe they just did a kind of a special smackdown or let me say football that is more popular whenever I, um they just call the goal do do this thing you know it's life actually just playing the game life not like it's recorded so what is called the goal to just take it back to like let's say 30 seconds before to see actually how the goal you know how the ball entered the net how they say that kind of stuff so let's do, do see how the ball enter the net using different different feed angles, different different cameras to see it, and you see it. I'm like, oh yeah, that's actually good. But it actually comes with the package of seven hundred dollars. You can use it with the package of sixty dollars. You can use one package of seven hundred dollars upward. Yes, but you can also use then OBS actually, and it's free. That's surprisingly good. So OBS has a win for that. Okay, so for plugins now, let's just say generally for plugins. Um, Vimex has plugins up to 50, which is actually really okay. Vimex has plugins up to 50 plugins. Plugins like um, the sound modification, Vimex social, um, Vimex desktop capture, and the rest like that. But in OBS, hmm. OBS has all to or own over 80 plugins. Yes, it has over 80 plugins and tools, even tools, even themes. You can change the theme. It has tools and over 80 plugins. Why Vimex? Asked up to 50. It's actually kind of over 50. I'm not sure, but I've counted to 50. But OBS, lots like over on over 80. So OBS is obviously more than the mix. And yes, it went for OBS also. Okay, so um, that is actually what I've noticed in the mix and OBS for now. And if you have any other suggestions in the comment section, you can comment it why you think vmix is better than obs or why you think obs is better than vmix you can comment in the section we're gonna you know kind of have an interactive comment section so you can comment your own take your own ideas and you know people will really love to hear from you what do you think it is what do you think why do you think vmix is better than obs why do you think you prefer obs to vmix i personally will also say if you started up with vmix if you started your live streaming 
with Zenmix. You know, Zenmix is kind of direct for me. If you start by streaming with Zenmix, if you go to OBS, you will not really like it because, you know, you need something direct, something on point, something more easier. Let me put it that way. And you will not like Zenmix, um, OBS, you will not like OBS. But if you started with OBS, you started with OBS and you're doing like a year, two years, three years with OBS and loan. And once you go to Zenmix, you might not like it, but you prefer OBS and you'll still be using Zenmix in some time like that. But using Zenmix, you might not want to think of using OBS at all. Just like, nah, I prefer Zenmix. Like, nah, I just use my Zenmix. Get. So I, as a Zenmix user, I actually use OBS in some cases. Not really for my professional use. I use my Zenmix because I trust Zenmix and Zenmix is actually good. I'm not saying OBS is not good. I'm just saying that people have different preferences. People have different styles. Your style might not be my style. I actually like OBS in some cases also do. Yeah. And Vimex, I also like Vimex also. Vimex has been really helpful. So any um, comments, any suggestion, any addition, just put it in the comment section. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget my name, Joseph Olasukomi, and this is extensive. Don't touch.